actually pack these orders I thought I would talk about the current packaging supplies that I'm using. I want to give my thoughts on a few of them and tell you a bit about what I'm going to be changing in the next couple of weeks or when these supplies run out. So when I opened my Etsy shop in June I already knew that I didn't want to use any plastic in my packaging at all and the first thing I bought were these clear compostable bags from EcoCraft. They're made of potato and vegetable starch and should completely break down however obviously the correct conditions are needed for this to happen and I know that not everywhere is like the UK where our food waste gets collected weekly and composted for us so the issue is these can't always get composted and would end up in landfill regardless which isn't really ideal. Another issue with these bags is that they're extremely static and attract dust and also if they get a bit crinkled these little white marks will appear on them which makes them look less clean. <laughs> But anyway, for now I'm going to keep using these clear bags for my prints and I'm going to stop using them for my stickers because I don't think they're necessary for stickers. But when I need to buy more of these I'm going to buy the ones without a peel and seal strip on them because that's obviously creating a tiny bit more waste for me to deal with, which I don't want. <laughs> the envelopes I'm using are C5 and C6 cardboard back mailers and a C5 book mailer that I use for larger orders. Again, these are peel and seal, so I'm left with that annoying strip of plastic. But as they are card, they are recyclable, which is good. When I go to order more, I'm going to try and find some without the peel and steel, bleh, without the peel and seal strip because I just don't want that piece of plastic in my life. <laughs> Ideally I would use envelopes that are from a recycled source but at the moment I can't find any that are suitable. So to move away from the compostable clear bags that I'm using, I'm going to now ship my stickers and postcards in these paper glassine bags. I have these small ones and I've also got some bigger A6 sized ones on the way which don't have the peel and steel strip which is really good. <laughs> I also have these cute stripy paper bags too. I use this really thin pink tissue paper to wrap my orders but I'm going to try and only use it for large orders from now on. I obviously want my packaging to be nice and pretty and I want it to be like a little present when you open it but then again I don't want the person buying from me to be left with a whole bunch of packaging that can't be reused or recycled or composted. So yeah I'm going to make these changes over the next um, couple of weeks and I think I will make a whole separate video on this topic and go into a bit more detail about everything I'm using and how I'm packaging specific items coming to my shop soon and as you can tell I'm pretty <laughs> passionate about this topic and I hope I can help out or encourage some of you to think a bit more about the waste in your shop that you might be generating or your customer might be receiving. Obviously I'm not perfect and I will continue to make mistakes regardless but hopefully you can tell that I'm trying my best and if you have any questions or tips please just leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what do you think about this. I haven't spoken to the camera in a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, today is Tuesday the 8th of September. Um, last week was a bit weird because I just could not focus. I just couldn't, I could not create, I guess, what I'm trying to say is. Um, I didn't really have art block, I just had so many ideas where I didn't know where to start. Yeah, last week kind of, I floated by, I didn't really do anything. But this week I'm feeling much better. <laughs> so yesterday you saw I just packed some orders. I did the editing of my last studio vlog, which was actually really short. I think it was only 15 minutes long. Usually I have tons and tons of footage and I have to cut it down to like 20 minutes or so but last week's studio vlog I was struggling to find footage 
<laughs> basically because I didn't do anything. Yeah, and also yesterday I started editing some new mushroom stickers for my shop. Um, my last mushroom stickers were actually like my best seller and they sold out um, also a couple of weeks ago. Um, I didn't restock them because they weren't really my not my style anymore. Basically they weren't pink enough. Um, what else has happened? Oh, I've still got the cats. <laughs> I've got them for another couple of weeks. I haven't agreed a date for them to be picked up yet, but I basically said there's no rush. I don't want them to go yet. <laughs> oh, I also finally got around to dyeing my hair. I don't know what colour it looks like on camera, but um, I didn't leave it long enough on the roots this time. So yeah, it's pink and yellow. Oh, I found out yesterday that I'm keeping my job. I've been on furlough for like six months now. Um, I was at risk of redundancy, but yesterday they emailed me and decided that I'm okay, I'm keeping the job. Which is, yeah, it's pretty good that I'm keeping that job because it means I can invest more money <laughs> into my art. Basically, I want to outsource more of my products because I'm not, because I'm not 100% happy with the quality of my self-made things. One thing I am happy to make myself are my sticker sheets because they're easy. I can just print, cut them, add them to my store all in one day. But I would like to outsource more of my prints. I'd like to make my mini prints into a postcard set. It would be nice to have them in bundles. I'd also like um, a set of landscape postcards, A6 as well. Eventually I would like to outsource die cut vinyl stickers as well, but at the moment I've got a lot of vinyl sticker paper to use up, so that won't be for a while. I'd also like to make notebooks. <laughs> I've got one notebook design ready to go, but I want to make a second one. I'd also like to buy new materials and experiment a bit more. I've been looking at watercolour inks at the moment. Um, obviously Inktober is just around the corner and I could just use watercolour, I know that, but I want to buy some new things. <laughs> yeah, anyway, the focus of this week I think is using my sketchbook a bit more, getting my ideas out of my head, because <laughs> I have tons in there. And yeah, I'm more excited this week and I'm ready to, ready to create. <laughs> Let's get on with life. I just printed out some more stickers for my packaging. My thank you stickers that go on the envelope and the little cat ones which I used to seal the tissue paper. Also I tried to print out some more compostable, not compost, yeah, please compost me stickers but it just kept like going wrong so they're a bit rough around the edges but that's okay I guess. And I also, I tried to print and cut on craft paper but I didn't know you can't use dark colours in the Cricut machine, which I think is so stupid. So I'm not very happy about that. <laughs> so with these again, I'm gonna have to cut them all out by hand and literally like peel every individual little one, which is really annoying. I just wanted to kiss cut them, not cut them completely. Anyway, um, I test printed and cut my mushroom stickers, so here they are. But I also made baby ones and I actually prefer the baby ones but I think I'm gonna put both in the shop um yeah so these are gonna be in my shop update next Friday it's already like five o'clock <laughs> I don't know what I've been doing today I think just faffing around with computer things so I'm going to cook dinner now and then I'm gonna do some sketchbook 
things. sketchbook I'm using and kind of what I'm using it for <laughs> if that makes sense um so these are the sketches you saw me do and I mean they are literally just sketches and what I'm currently doing is this <laughs> kind of thing and then I'm painting the actual painting after doing the sketches because usually I would have worked 
straight onto a piece of watercolour paper or would have made the actual painting in a sketchbook but I'm finding it easier to just like make a draft first and then do the real thing if you get what I mean <laughs> um, another thing I also did was was this bunny as well and I still feel like it looks a bit angry or concerned I also did I did these quick little things because I do want to make some earrings and clay pins based on my illustrations and I was trying to simplify the moths and stuff which I really I really love painting moths and that is way too complicated to go on a pin like that big so I was trying to you know come up with a smaller idea and then I also simplified some mushrooms as well and just used um, the colours that I probably will use on the pins yeah, I haven't really got much in this sketchbook yet. I'm not sure if I really like it that much. I don't know, there's just something about it. Like, the paper's pretty good, and it should be pretty good, because this is an expensive um, sketchbook. This is Strathmore Mixed Media, I think, like, 500 series or something. But I'm just having, like, a blah time with it and just using it for drafts at the moment. So, yeah. It is voiceover me again and I did not film like a goodbye part to this video vlog so I'm just gonna say goodbye now. <laughs> uh, um, so yeah I'll quickly say that my bigger envelope glassine envelopes arrived and all I'm doing now is just sorting out my postcards and sorting out my little sticker packs and yeah um, next week I have my shop update on the 20, yeah, 25th of September and I'm also going to be uploading a draw with me Q&A video as well so if you do have any questions I did ask on Instagram so I've got quite a lot to answer from there <laughs> but if you do have any more questions please just let me know in the comments and I will answer them next week in my Q&A so for now goodbye have a nice week <laughs> see you soon